Hi, this is Bob from ASU Libraries Course Resource Services Department. Thank you very much for joining me today to watch a brief presentation about using ASU Library Resource Organizers. Within the Canvas course shell, to get to a resource organizer, you will need to click on the link on the left side of the screen that says ASU Library Resource Organizer. And here you can see that the resource organizer has been opened up. By default, the very first module, in this case named Week 1, is expanded. Let's take a brief moment to talk more about citations. Citations are items on a resource organizer which are usually organized into multiple modules by the instructor. It is common to see a naming scheme for modules such as Week 1, Week 2, Week 3 Optional, Week 3 Required, and so forth. Citations can also be thought of as instructional media, categorized as electronic resources such as ebook or audio recording, and print items such as a print book or DVD. Before we explore the citations found on this particular resource organizer, I would first like to show you two very helpful features. First is the toggle section view feature. Notice right now as I scroll down, you can see that I have the first and second module both expanded where I can see all of the citations within them. By clicking on this icon, I can quickly revert to a section view where it collapses those modules and I can see all of the modules in the resource organizer at a glance. The next feature I'd like to show you is the green check mark feature. By clicking this arrow to expand the week three module, I can now see the citations found within that module. Here we have a blank check mark. It is blank by default. By clicking on it, it will turn green so I can mark it as done. And here is a green check mark that was already green, so I know that I already read that book chapter. And as I'm working through this module, I could continue to click and make these green. If I made a mistake and realized, oh, I actually didn't read this book chapter, no problem. I can simply click it again to mark it as incomplete. It reverts back to being a clear check mark. Now let's take a look at citations starting with books. The very first citation in the week two module is an example of a library owned book that is not currently being used as a course resource. If I wanted to request a loan for this book, I would use the link that says request ASU copy. On the other hand, if I only needed to read a chapter, I could have the course resource services department create a chapter scan for me by using the link that says request article or chapter scan. And here we have an example of a personal copy that an instructor is currently using as a course resource. By scrolling down through the citation, I have encountered this additional information that you can see right here. As shown, the material type is listed as an instructor copy. The instructor currently has a four hour loan policy for this book. There are two copies. Here I can see that both of them are available. Availability is also indicated by this text here that says item in place. Lastly, I can see that currently the book is located at Hayden Library on the Tempe campus. And here we have an example of a book chapter citation. By clicking the download link, my web browser would initiate a download of the PDF file from the book Mississippi Burning. Next, we have an example of an ebook with a view online link. By clicking on that link, it will redirect me to a page where I can read a specific chapter or chapters of this book. Now let's talk about videos, starting with this video for a film titled Ghost of Rwanda. You can see there's a view online link there. For example purposes, I'm going to go ahead and click on that citation. And here you can see that same view online link. And in parentheses there, you can see the name of the vendor who is providing that streaming video. Here's another video, and I'm going to go ahead and click on this citation. You can see right here that the view online link goes to an ASU server. So this is actually a film that we have digitized and uploaded. Let's say that you clicked on the link and the video would not play for whatever reason. You receive some sort of error message. You could click the mark is broken link followed by OK to send a report to the course resource services department, at which time we would investigate the issue and get back to you. 
Next, let's take a look at this citation for a film called The Devil Next Door. Here we can see the view online link goes to a website called justwatch.com. When on a justwatch.com webpage, you will want to scroll down to the Watch Now section, which is located right here. Here I can see all of my streaming options for the film, and as shown, currently it is only available through Netflix. And here we have the video citation, which is episode five of a six-part documentary series. By clicking on the citation, you can see here in parentheses that this video is actually hosted on YouTube. And last but not least for the video citations, here's an example of a DVD. This film, Frankenstein, is not currently being used as a course resource. You can see right here that the DVD is currently located at Hayden Library. There is one copy. It is available. Availability is also indicated by the green available text there, as well as item in place. Let's say that I was not 100% convinced that this was the correct Frankenstein film that I was looking for. In that case, I could click on more details to look at some expanded metadata. Typically, the information that you'll find here about a film will include the names of actors featured in the film, distributors, and production companies. Now, let's take a look at other types of citations that you are likely to encounter on a resource organizer. And here we have an example of a journal article with two options, download the article or view it online. And here we have an example of an audio recording citation with a view online link. By clicking on that link, I would be directed to a landing page on which I would click a play button to listen to the recording. Finally, here's an example of a newspaper article with options to download it as well as view it online. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that information was helpful to you and take care.